hello and good morning so let's get into it today i'm going to talk to you about node and php and why am i going to talk to you about node and php well see just like actually just a few minutes ago when i woke up and i went over you know my regular statistics on my channel and i looked at some of the comments that I had gotten, there was this nice guy who asked the very loaded question, which is easier to learn, Node or PHP? Or more specifically, JavaScript PHP, like which one? And see, that is a great question. It's so great a question that I actually made this video, even though it's three degrees below when I'm freezing my fingers off doing this. So there's a small flaw in my idea of, you know, let's videotape everything outside. And I, have, I think I'll just have to persevere. So stay with me on this one and know that I am suffering for your sake. But it's such a great question that I have to answer it. So when I started programming, PHP was the de facto standard for anybody who wanted to be a web developer. It's actually still the fact, I, I would actually go and argue that it's only in recent time where JavaScript and Node and so forth has gotten to the point of the adoption that it's actually starting to rival PHP as the first go-to language for anyone who wants to get something on the web. Now, you may have heard of WordPress, for example, when it comes to, you know, C content management systems or CMSs and WordPress is in fact the technology that runs most of the web and since that is built with PHP then PHP therefore is also one of the, the, the technologies that is running most of the web. Now web, uh, WordPress has announced that uh, it might be very soon or they have already released it I don't know but they're thinking about going into Node instead and you know of course that Facebook originated with PHP. So now that we have like a good foundation of understanding that PHP is this thing, like it's a workhorse language. It has been here forever. It was, it, it's basically the first go-to for anybody who started like five or ten, at least five, ten years ago when it, came, it comes to web programming. It's still a major factor in the programming world. But when the, and the question comes now to which one is easier to learn? Now that is extremely tricky to answer because there are, it's such a subjective thing to ask. If I were to say to you, as a complete beginner, I asked two, or rather I took two complete beginners and I asked, could one of you get me a single web page up and running as quickly as possible? You'd never programmed in your entire life. And I tell one of them do, to do that in Node and I tell the other one to do it in PHP. I would guesstimate that the person who goes with PHP will get there the quickest. And the reason for that has very little to do with PHP. It has more to do with the way that PHP was designed and the tools around it. So there are, there's a, there's a very nice project called SAMP or WAMP or LAMP, if you will, which basically, like, don't ask me about the abbreviation, but it goes something like, I think uh, like WAMP is Windows Apache, MySQL and PHP. It's just an abbreviation of the technology stack that or the names of the technologies that are used in order to run up to spin up a basic PHP server. Now what's powerful about these projects is that as a beginner you can actually just go to their website, download their project, run and install, install a program on your computer and you have all this stuff set up for you and you can basically start adding a web page to your server and start developing something locally you know in on your own computer and you're off to the races and all you actually have to do is to just visit said website like the, the correct url in your browser and there you are you have your first web page and if you wanted to do the same thing in node.js you would have to do a, a bit more setup because node does not have anything as standardized as that like uh, there are things such let's say if you weren't to, wanted to make a react application you could use create react app which is it's not I, I would say that comparing the standardization or like the adoption rate of create Re react app versus samp and wamp and so forth is kind of like 
Goliath and David and Goliath, like Sam and Wamp are so like they they are so ba like they've been for God's sakes like I started with that stuff like years and years ago. So there are tools in Node.js that does very similar things, but not in the way that Sam and Wamp does. So that being said. That is not the whole story. So the issue with answering this question, in my opinion, is that PHP was designed to do things in a very certain way. In a certain way. Now, the thing is that Node, in my opinion, if you use something like Express and so forth, and you want to learn that stuff, you are actually closer to doing things in the way that most languages do it today. And so when it comes to PHP. PHP can do all these things, but it is not there by default, if you will. It is something that will... Well, the PHP is more... Dif it, it, dif it differentiates... It's more different from other languages than what JavaScript is. It's also a bigger language than JavaScript. JavaScript is a much smaller language, so in theory, if you want to... Because it depends on how you measure. What takes... What's the fastest way to learn something? Well, is it, are we going to measure it by how fast you can learn the syntax? If it's just syntax, then JavaScript's going to win every day of the week because the syntax is so small. It's very, like, it, it doesn't have much to it. Now ES6 has come along, so there's a little bit more, but that's what I would say. If we learn, go by, as I was saying, how fast you can get productive from not knowing anything, then PHP is most likely going to win. But the problem is that odds are that you're, you're going to have a lot of problems with PHP going forward because there's a lot of stuff you have to know about PHP in order to make really nice web experiences at the professional level. I would say that it requires more of you as a developer to be able to, like, at, at larger scale it definitely does. So you will have to know more about PHP than you have to know about Node.js in order to get started going for like in, at the professional level. So if I were to tell you to pick one of these two, that put, puts me in a little bit of a difficult situation because there are benefit, pros and cons with both of them, but since I'm the one, I, I, I get you, I get you. I know why you asked this question because I, and I actually feel like I have to give you a more definitive answer than this vague thing where I'm just covering my ass from saying something definitive in a world where everybody's going to have an opinion about what I say. But I'm going to give you an answer anyway. And the reason why is because when I was asking these questions, nobody wanted to give me a straight answer for the most part. And that's actually, it's actually funny because my philosophy is that when you are a beginner and you don't know any better, it's actually much more... At least for, I think so. It's more sense, like it's it's uh, emotionally more satisfying to have somebody just tell you that's the thing and give you a good reason why, reminding you like that there are options, but giving you a clear sense of direction, than giving you like a nothing answer that just covers you know, where they're covering their own own ass, because you know it's it makes it easier on you. So here I am trying to give you a straight answer, my friend. Go with JavaScript. Even uh, it is going to overall be easier for you to adopt. It has much more adopt, like the, the adoption rate is much higher. Even though PHP has been around for a longer time, the frameworks and the tools and everything around it is more relevant than PHP. PHP is still a massive, big language, but it's not even close to being as big as JavaScript. And when it comes to ease of learning, if you just wanted to start doing JavaScript today without a br without like a database or anything like that, you could do that in your local environment. And the comment in question actually asked about, you know, other things related to what you can do with JavaScript. JavaScript can do more than PHP can, <laughs> plain and simple. It has the power to do much more. It doesn't do everything it does as well as PHP. PHP has some really good good things like there's a lot of strong stuff that you can do with PHP but I honestly believe that PHP has lost its workhorse label because it used to be the case where people defaulted to PHP as the web web programming language of choice and I see the trend moving towards Node.js and I think there's a very good reason for that JavaScript is much bigger 
in when it comes in, in just in general than PHP is. Uh, it's it's uh, it has the power to do more, and it's getting it's getting traction in areas where PHP just doesn't cut it anymore. Now PHP is not a bad language, absolutely not. I think it's a great language, but I don't think it's going to be able to rival JavaScript. And to be fair, there are very few languages that can rival JavaScript right now. So I hope that gave you a straight answer. So uh, and hopefully you'll consider this when you know if you decide to start using one of these languages and yeah I, that's basically it i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope it was useful to you have a great day